questions about Pinocchio. So Pinocchio was Disney's second full-length movie that came out in 1940 um, and most of my questions, comments, concerns revolved around how Jiminy Cricket should not have been um, assigned the role of a conscience. I feel like he's very bad at his job. The other thing that I found kind of interesting as I was doing my research was that uh, Disney took a lot of liberties with the original story. I feel like a lot of the things in common are just names are similar and that it's made it's a story about a boy made out of wood. <laughs> I feel like uh, the original stories had a lot more involved are a lot more gruesome and a lot more violent um, than the Disney version so I was kind of surprised to see exactly how the original story played out versus what was in the movie. Um, and then with that, as far as um, what's in my collection, so I do have a Pinocchio snow globe that I probably got about 20 years ago. Sadly, uh, Jiminy's head and feet have been lost over the years from moving. And then I also have a Pinocchio Vinylmation. I have a Figaro stuffed animal. I have um, when Disney and Funko were doing their Disney Treasures subscription box a couple of years ago, I got the little... Um, Jiminy Cricket Funko that came in one of those boxes. One of my favorite um, pins I have in my collection, um, they actually made a pin of um, the badge that the Blue Fairy gives Jiminy at the end of the movie, the uh, official conscience uh, pin, and that one's really cool. Um, it's just a little different, unique, it moves, all that stuff. And then I also found um, in my other <laughs> spare time um, I cross stitch and growing up my mom had a Disney cross stitch book that was probably published around 1980 and so when I took up cross stitching um, one of the first projects I ever completed was Pinocchio and I actually found it um, I had it tucked away with all my other frame stuff so it looks like that um, but that was I think I didn't date it but I think that probably would have been around 2000 or 2001 before I moved to Arizona um, so that was just fun because it was like the first real cross stitch I ever did and then of course I've done several since then um, but the Disney ones are always my favorite. One other memory that I have of uh, Pinocchio in fourth grade for Halloween I dressed up as the Blue Fairy and I won the costume contest at my school um, and <laughs> the one thing I remember aside from my mom made my costume for me and I had these like giant wings and then one of my mom's co-workers had apparently she had won or been a runner-up or something in a beauty pageant in like the 50s or 60s and so she let me borrow her tiara <laughs> that she had won at that pageant um so I really did get to like be like kind of a princess for a day and wear a tiara and red lipstick uh, as far as memories in the parks um of course, Pinocchio's Daring Journey at Disneyland is always a must-see for me. Um, although I will say when my mom and I went um, several years ago now for when I was out there for a conference and we, we waited in line for a while and we were literally the next ones in line to get on the ride and the ride shut down. So that was really disappointing. But when you can ride it and it is working, I like the Blue Fairies um, appearance here and there. And then I also like... Um, towards the end when Jiminy Cricket like is holding onto his umbrella and he's like, nah, I think that one's adorable too. <laughs> so I love also at Disneyland, um, in Fantasyland, they have that window where, um, Figaro is sleeping and there's birdcage next to him and he'll occasionally wake up and talk to the bird and then go back to sleep. So I think that's a really cute detail in Fantasyland. And then at Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, there's Pinocchio's Village House, which is like a quick service, uh, restaurant. And I've actually never eaten there. But I have been inside. I know for um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, it's a treat station. I know that you can, if you are eating there, you can sit and watch the It's a Small World boats uh, go by. And then when we were there for the Halloween party a couple of years ago, um, my shoe literally fell apart at the end of the night. Like the sole just completely came off. And so I ended up throwing those shoes away <laughs> um, at Pinocchio's Village House. So that's probably the closest I've ever actually been to that restaurant. I did do Pinocchio nails this time, so um, I found this really cute idea on Pinterest for um, copying Pinocchio's hat, which is the yellow hat with the red feather, um, and I thought that was really cute. So I tried to duplicate that in my um, nail art this week. Um, I hope that you will continue reading below. Be sure to read all of the answers to all of my questions and some of my questions that just can't be answered, and then followed, of course, by just 
fun statements and then links to some other fun stuff that I've found. If you ever need any help with any travel planning, be sure to email me, book it at travelingnorthagency.com. Be sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. Just send me your email address if you're interested in being added to my client list. And with that, keep reading and I hope you enjoy Pinocchio. As I've been watching all of these movies in very quick succession, I'm um, making like top 10 lists in my head and I've realized that the Blue Fairy is my number one favorite fairy and Figaro is my number one favorite uh, Disney cat.